Hey guys. This is officially my second time trying to make this video. Um, the first time I made it, I was just kind of all over the place, and I'm going to hopefully do a little bit better. Uh, so, since I started doing the covers of the New Angels and Airwaves songs, I've been getting a lot of questions about my thoughts on the EP and a couple other questions. Because um, in a very recent video, um, I think it was the Let's Talk About Blink and Matt Skiba video or whatever, um, I mentioned that I wasn't following Tom DeLonge's projects anymore. And that is very true. Um, someone had to actually tell me that this album was out the next day. Uh, someone had sent me a uh, message on Ask FM, I believe it was, and said, hey, you going to check this out? It's out tomorrow. So I was like, yeah, you know, I guess I guess I will. You know, it's not like I automatically hate everything that Tom DeLonge does now. It's not that at all. Um, I just... I just find it harder to really get into immediately. Like, if this was 2005 and Blink was putting out an album, I'd probably love it no matter what because it was Tom and Mark and Travis. Um, even Angels and Airwaves, I mean, if it was 2008, I'd probably like it immediately. Um, but this album, or this EP, it took a little bit of time to really get into it. I will say I was surprised how much guitar work was actually in it because obviously the last few releases were not very guitar driven. Uh, so like Dreamwalker for example, I like the Dreamwalker a lot. There's a couple songs on there I could, you know, take or leave, but as a whole I really did like it and it still wasn't a very big guitar album and that was fine for me because for example the last song on this EP, the title track, is probably my favorite on the album and it's not a very big guitar track and I don't know Tom's just really nailing that sort of style these days it's just kinda big choruses and um, big build up with you know more of a synthy kinda thing with just like the lighter guitar um, backing I feel like the guitar is not really the the focal point of the instrumental section anyway like it is in the other songs. Like the other songs pretty much sound like if he was still writing in Blink. You know, the last couple Blink songs that came out, you know, with uh, Dogs Eating Dogs anyway, kind of remind me of that. I mean, maybe if Mark had a hand in these couple songs, like Artillery and Overload or whatever, I could see them being Blink songs. But. I don't know. I mean, it just it kind of throws me off a little bit because it's it's starting to make me feel like Angels and Airwaves is becoming Tom's project to just do whatever. It's not really having that theme, that like same theme anymore, which is fine. You know, nobody wants we don't need to whisper 10 times, you know, every 2 years. Who really wants that? But it makes me wonder why he even did the Tom DeLonge CD with the odds and ends stuff. I mean, granted, those songs were pretty terrible as a whole, but I feel like some of those songs could have fit in this uh, this set of songs pretty easily, um, at least sort of idea-wise. And, I don't know, it just kind of makes me wonder what the future of Angels and Airways is going to be, because I'm cool with it being this sort of style where, you know, it's, it's not super spacey, and it's not... Um, it's not full of like delay and effects like way over the top so I mean it's, it's, it's really hard to say because I don't know you look at 2000 and when did the first album come out 2006 2005 I don't remember but then you look at it now it's, it's so different and there's definitely been some good stuff and some bad stuff so I guess what I'm trying to say is I gave it a shot because, you know, I didn't... It's not like I just stopped liking him as a songwriter, you know. It's, it's one of those things I grew up with. And I wanted to at least give it a chance because, you know, what if I like it? So I listened to it through the first time uh, sometime last week, and I 
was like, all right, you know, this is surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't expecting it to be terrible by any means because, um, you know, the last couple things they did were not bad. Although uh, the last EP, um, I'm blanking on what it's called, the one that has uh, Paris and Parasomnia and um, View from Below, whatever that one was called, you don't have to tell me in the comments. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> whatever that one was called, I mean, I didn't really care for that as a whole. I mean, I'm, I'm saying as a whole a lot, aren't I? I just really like holes. <laughs> um, but I wasn't expecting like this EP as much as I did. And I wasn't really thinking that I was going to even think about it much after it came out. You know, I was going to give it its chance. You know, maybe do a cover, maybe not. You know, even on the Tom DeLonge CD, I did a cover for New World or whatever it was called. And then on the next release for that EP, I can't remember the name of, that one I even did like a What If V From Below Had a Guitar Solo. So I at least, you know, did something with it. And with this album, I was at least inspired to do some covers with it i wanted to listen to the songs more it's not just like a uh, get that the fuck away from me i don't want to hear it anymore type of thing and so like that last ep i don't even have it on my ipod like i do some of my other angels and airways stuff i don't have the tom DeLong demos whatever on my ipod either because i just don't like them um uh, but this this album, you know, it's it's definitely a lot better, and it's a step in the right direction for me. You know, I'd be a lot happier if the future stuff was more on this style, more guitar-driven, but, you know, still in that sort of keyboardy new wave kind of sound. You know, it's definitely got an 80s sound to some of those songs, and... I don't know. I just I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I don't absolutely love it. I know a lot of people are really really digging it, and that's cool. I'm not surprised. Um, but you know, it's definitely given me a you know a bit more confidence in Tom because you know some of the last things weren't really that fantastic. So it's it's something that I'm gonna have to keep an eye on, and you know maybe he'll do some sort of big comeback because I mean since he left Blink. He's been doing his own thing, and he's been doing fine, but I feel like it's only because of Blink. He's only really riding on those Blink fans that have just been obsessed with him since 1999, or the ones that kind of are still in middle school and I guess don't really, don't really know any better at this point. Not to bash you if you're in middle school. There's nothing wrong with that. But... I don't know, Tom just seems to snag all those young kids. He, they're very, very impressionable upon Tom DeLonge, and I can honestly say that it did the same thing for me. I was 13 years old, and I picked up a guitar because of the guy. You know, it's... It's, it's not something to really knock, I guess. I started this video saying I wasn't going to ramble, and I'm definitely rambling, but you know what? Fuck it. It's my channel. I can do what I want. Interlude. short version I like the EP you know I I don't follow his work anymore but you know I'm glad I at least checked it out and I hope Tom kind of keeps on this path I hope he keeps the guitar a big focus of his songs I'm not saying every song has to have you know tons of electric guitar in it but you know it's cool that he's at least picking the thing up and you know not just 
strum an accord every now and then. You know, he's actually doing something with some of the songs, which is fun because a lot of us grew up with him as a guitar hero and, you know, the past six, seven years or however long, he kind of steered away from that. But it's cool. You know, I like the songs. I don't love them. I, I will say that my favorite is probably the last song on the EP. Um, but as a whole, you know, I said it again, as a whole. Um, it's a good EP, you know. It surprised me, and... Like I said, I hope the next one's good too, you know, but I don't give a shit about his books or his art or his movies or whatever. Just stick to music in my opinion. That's not to say that somebody won't enjoy his other art, you know, his other multimedia projects, but it's not really for me. So if you have any other requests for CD reviews or lessons, covers, whatever you want, you know, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll definitely consider something. Um, these days I'm really hoping to at least please you guys a little bit more, you know, some some videos I definitely put out for me, uh, but those are usually the videos that get a hundred views, maybe two hundred. Um, not that I'm all about the views, but I'm about, you know, giving you guys things that you want to see. So absolutely leave a comment below about something that you might want to see from my channel and I will try to oblige. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.